What's happening guys? Welcome back. Um, so we've got a kitchen diner knock through again. I'll just run you through what we're doing at the moment. We're doing a little bit of prep work um, in the plan to get a skim on in the morning. So we've got a, a bit of a stipple here on the existing ceilings. We've cut some away as we normally do, just so we can get the plank on there and the acros. Um, so the walls come away, We've got the pad stones in. Um, building inspectors came in and ticked that off. So we, we've uh, firelined the steel. We've done videos on this stuff before. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd run you through uh, some of the prep work that we're doing. For those of you that are uh, unfamiliar with the process um, so electrician's been round did his first fix which has done a, a sterling job of to be honest we give these guys a hard time don't we the spark is they're always tripping us up but um, on this one um, credit where credit's due he's, he's chased out real neat for us and he's put these plastic cover plates over I've not seen these before We've done some reviews on the socket beads, um, but never seen these black ones. But fair play to him, he's, he's done a neat job and he's, he's covered all of his um, boxes up and curled his cables in for us, which we're chuffed about because we can go straight over the top now. And he's done that all the way around. If only they were all like this. But yeah, we're just going to fill these chases up all the way around the room and um, we're gonna make good this edge here where the walls come away a little bit of building out to do there where it's need to bring that out here um, bits and pieces all the way around the room sockets to be built out this wall here is completely concealed floor to ceiling with units and also it comes comes out to about here so the only the bit that they want to be paint finish is from this corner back about 50 mil so we're actually going to leave that wall we're just going to bury his cables in um, it'll all be meshed as you can see um, it's, it's solid sand and cement mix but the skim skim starting to come away a bit where it's been disturbed. So um, good scrape back and glue up and this will all be um, bonded out and meshed as we typically do. And here, uh, Matt's just dabbed the cheek on there <clears throat> just to bring, just to run it in with the fire line. Make sure that runs down nice and plumb. So it was tight here on the pad stone, and then as, as it runs down, come out by at least 50 mil, something like that. That's nice and plumb now. And we're just gonna put a hard wall coat on here. The reason we're not dabbing it is customers had a stud partition built here, look, with a door frame in, and the chippies ran his plasterboard uh, maybe 8 mil over this brick which is bang on really if I'm honest so we can just put a nice tight hard wall coat on there which will cover the cap in and run up run up to our um, plasterboard overhang there so I'll film that and having a little tour when it's all prepped and we'll catch up with you in a bit So before we start mixing up this hard wall, I thought I'd share a little tip with you guys. Whenever you're going to skim out a kitchen, or any room to be honest, um, even if you've only gone in to skim out, always chuck your straight edge over, over all your walls. So as you know, we use this 2.4 aluminium straight edge. I think we picked this up from Wix. We like this one because it's got quite a fine point on the end. Some of them can be a bit um, chunky on the edge, 
but this one's quite sharp so we like that nice and light and um, so I'll use this wall here as an example so where we've removed this wall here this area is going to have a worktop which flies across here now um, if we just bead up and skim we're going to miss this bit here which I'll just show you if I can so the worktop's going to sit along here like this breakfast bar now if you, I hope the camera can pick that up but we've got at least 10 mil gap all the way underneath that window so it's tight on this wall here and then as we come across 10 mil gap so import, it's important that we build that out with hard wall before we do any skimming or beading or anything so it's worth mentioning and the reason you've got the two different plaster lines is obviously because it was two different rooms so plaster would have worked up to the wall here and then again different tolerance here which is why it's different so look just a little tip for you before you start knocking up any gear have a think about the kitchen layout have a think about where the worktops are going to go and just chuck your straight edge round usually tar by the eye once you've been doing it a while um, you know if you're talking three mil or whatever you know you can get that with your skim and speed skim when you were uh, troweling up but any more than that the time it takes just knock up some bonding fill out that fill out them pockets and then bellies and then when you do come to uh, skim you're going to get a much nicer job and um, you know the trades that are following behind you the chippies the plumbers they're going to give you credit for uh, for straightening out any wonky walls and that will help build up your reputation so I'll just show you what we're doing to uh, take out over that half inch dip that we've got between this side and that side so this side sticks out half inch more than this side okay so what we're doing scrappy bit of wood and we're just bracing it in place and it, it's going to overhang to the exact thickness that we need and then we'll use our screed bar here fill that with hard wall we'll run off that side and we'll run against this bit of shutter in here we've also put a little bit of scrappy timber on here and that's going to create an edge for us when we come to do this bit so we'll backfill all that the reason we've packed it out a bit with plasterboard is because um, the reveal was twisted so we've just packed that out a little bit as you can see it's tight at the top it comes out at the bottom so once we've filled all that up with our hard wall then we'll have a a half decent reveal then ready for beading up we've just started chucking on a bit of this hard wall guys Gave that a rough coat and ruled it across, as you can see there. It's a fair bit of pitting. Um, so we need to knock up a bit more. Um, there's still a few mil to add on top. Again, we're ruling off this bit of uh, timber there. That's all filled out, but that bit isn't get a view from the side and then Matt's just working on this bit again about 7mm so he's running off this bit of plasterboard here
We're somewhere near now, not far off now guys. We'll get it about there and then any little any little bits obviously we'll get with the skin. Let's use the back of the trowel to take off any excess. We're not far off there at all. That's it for this week guys, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Trail Talk if you enjoyed this video and we'll see you next week, thank you for watching.